Hi, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a quarantine cooking recipe, which is my meatloaf recipe. This is a part of a collab with the Sister Circle. Hi, it's Latanya. Thank you for joining me on another video. So this video is in participation with the Sister Circles. It is a quarantine cooking collab that is headed by Denise from This and That with Denise Jordan and also by Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner. Thank you to those ladies for um, having the idea to gather us all together, especially since we're already all at home anyways to cook some recipes to give you guys some new ideas and to give you guys ways to use the items that are in your pantry and your cabinets and your refrigerator a lot of people are probably finding it a little bit difficult to find some items in the grocery stores and some people are just not wanting to take the trip out to go out into the grocery store so this collaboration Hashtag at home with me is um, going to be something that's really good to help us to all be able to have some different ideas to use the food that we already have here at our house. Okay guys, so for this meatloaf recipe, I am going to be using these ingredients to put it all together. I will have all of my ingredients listed in the description box down below. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to be using one packet of meatloaf um, seasoning to my ground beef. I'm going to add in about four eggs, one egg per pound. I probably have about four pounds of ground beef here. And then I'm going to add in my crushed up garlic. I love garlic in just about all of my savory dishes. And I crushed up or chopped up about one onion. And I'm adding that to it. I also like to use um, adobo and also Lowry's is one of my very favorite seasonings. I also like to use some dried seasoning too like um, dried parsley and oregano and um, rosemary and thyme. Just about anything that I have on hand and also sometimes I like to use dried Italian seasoning. Alright so I'm also adding in W sauce, some ketchup, and also some sofrito. I like the flavor that it adds. I am also adding in some dried breadcrumbs. If you don't have that, you can also use like regular sandwich bread. Just break them up in little pieces and throw them in there. I am adding in some of my milk, not all of it, and then I'm gonna mix it up. Um, these gloves are hard, <laughs> hard to use, hard to mix this meat up with, and so I'm gonna go in with my masher. So this is doing a much better job than gloved hands are doing it. Um, normally, I'll just get in with my bare hands, but today I tried to be a little fancy for y'all for the video. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding in the last of my milk and just trying to thoroughly mix in all of the ingredients with uh, my ground meat so that everything is nice mixed and all of the meat is seasoned uh, really good. All right, so with this meatloaf, you can use whatever type of ground meat you like. You can use ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you like. Tell me in the comment box down below, what is your favorite ground meat to use? Beef, chicken, or turkey? Let me know. All right, so after everything is uh, mixed up really, really good, I'm going to be, I'm going to now make my sauce. So I've started out with ketchup, added some W sauce to it, and now I'm adding my very favorite Pamper Chef seasoning, which is garlic and herb. I love it. It's my favorite. All right, so I'm also adding in some brown sugar just for a little bit of um, sweetness to my sauce. It adds a little bit of sweetness. And now I'm just adding in just some more of everything. So making this meatloaf recipe is something that to me um, says comfort. It's something that I remember from growing up as a child and it's something that I like to think that my children are also going to remember about being here with me and us being all together as a family. Um, one of the reasons is because everybody loves it, everybody enjoys it. And I don't make it all the time, all the time. So when it does come around again in the meal plan, I think that everybody really gets excited and happy that we're having meatloaf again. So hopefully this is something that you and your family can also experience and enjoy together. 
Okay, now that I'm done with mixing my sauce and my meatloaf, I'm getting a full lined sheet pan and I'm just gonna turn out all of my uh, meatloaf mixture onto that sheet pan. So I'm just gonna turn it out and I'm going to try my best to form all of that meat into somewhat of a loaf shape. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just a loaf shape. I try to make it the same like size all the way through. So when I slice it, it's not like too low. So I try to like lift it up some, if you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, so just form it into a loaf. All right, so after all that's done, I go ahead and put about half of my sauce onto the raw loaf of meat or meatloaf. That sounded kind of weird, <laughs> but uh, meatloaf here. And I'm just brushing it on. And so after I'm done with that, I'm gonna pop this into the oven that's um, preheated at 350 degrees for about an hour. All right, so after my meatloaf has been in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes, I'm gonna take it out and then I'm going to uncover it with the foil. And when you uncover it, you'll see that a lot of the grease has come out. And so you don't want any of that. So I'm just getting a little bowl and I'm going to drain the oil off of the meatloaf, just pour it into the bowl. And you don't need any of that oil or grease for anything, at least I don't have any purposes for it. So I just throw it away. Don't flush it down the toilet, don't dump it down the sink, throw it away in the trash. Um, and so now I'm gonna add on the leftover sauce to my meatloaf. Um, but as I am putting that sauce on there, I'm, I'm noticing that along the edges of the meatloaf, there's just some little extra, um, I don't know what that is. So I don't really want it in my meatloaf. So I'm just gonna take that out. Um, it's just really soft. I guess it's just coming from when the greases were draining from the meat, but whatever it is, I'm taking it out. If it happens to your meatloaf, you can go ahead and take it out too. And if you know what it is, let, let us all know in the comments down below. But so I'm taking that off and then I'm just brushing all of the rest of the sauce that I made onto the meatloaf. Um, and then I'm gonna pop it um, back into the oven until it gets nice and caramelized. That brown sugar is going to help it to caramelize. All right, so after that, the meatloaf is all done. So when you take it out of the oven the second time, you're gonna wanna let it rest for a little bit and then you can go ahead and have at it. Slice it up, serve it up. Dinner is ready to go. Um, this is gonna be a really good recipe to use um, during this time of self-isolation and quarantining because it uses a lot of the ingredients that are commonly found in our pantries already. And if you don't have it, it shouldn't be too hard to find the items in the grocery stores. Look at that steam coming from that meatloaf. Oh my goodness. But everybody in my family loves this meatloaf. That's why I have to make so much because I like to make my meals last more than one day. And if I only do one or two pounds, it's gonna be gone the same night. So I have to make a lot of it so that I don't have to cook two nights in a row. And you know how they say it tastes better the next day because the seasonings and everything have a chance to kind of marry and just dance together. But I served it with some potatoes and some broccoli and asparagus. Um, so that is it, the meatloaf. If you try it out, let me know how you like it. And everybody, please stay safe. Don't forget to check out all of the other participants in the playlist. Thank you to Denise and Kenya for the Sister Circle collab. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Bye.